the overall quality of the country's K-12 graduates leaves a lot to be desired, falling short of the expected competency needed for immediate gainful employment. An ongoing review of the existing curriculum has found the need to streamline and simplify the program that our Kenneth Prashanta sums up in this report. Cheryl's oldest son has graduated from senior high school. The K-12 program has helped her child to prepare for college. But for her, it appears to be no difference from the previous curriculum. Yung curriculum kasi ng high school sila, parang same lang din eh, ng, ng 11 and 12. Parang walang pagkakaiba. Plus, nakita ko ngayon na college na siya. Yun lang din yung tinuturo. Wala siyang changes. Parang wala kang nakitang, ah, ganito pala. Hindi eh. Parang parehas lang sila. According to Cheryl, it's just an additional burden because of the additional cost and tuition fee. Pangalawa yung dagdag na taon na sayang, dapat college na. Yung dalawang taon na yun, dalawang taon na lang igagapang mo, may titulado ka ng anak. The Education Department is currently reviewing the K-12 curriculum. Vice President and Education Secretary Sara Duterte herself said that the curriculum content of the K-12 program is congested. Some prerequisites of identified learning competencies are missing or misplaced. That a significant number of learning competencies cater to higher cognitive demands. According to VP Sara, K-12's intention is to prepare senior high school graduates for immediate employment. But this remains unfulfilled because although the passing rate is high in the work immersion program with TESDA, some industry says the immersion is just for familiarization and not for actual skill acquisition. Most senior high school graduates find the need to pursue higher education in order to find employment. The National Senior High School Tracer Study conducted by the Bureau of Curriculum Development showed that 83% of the respondents pursued higher education while only a little over 10% of graduates were employed. According to the Teachers' Dignity Coalition, the K-12 curriculum has a good intention, but it must be prepared well. Nasaan ba ang mga specially trained teachers para magturo sa mga special courses? Nasaan ba yung laboratories natin, yung equipments natin, yung specialized classrooms natin? Hindi natin pwedeng ituloy yung isang programa dahil ang gusto natin ituloy. Na dapat ituloy natin yung programa kasi kaya natin ituloy at kaya natin mamit yung expectations. And for House Committee on Education and Culture Chairman Representative Roman Romulo, the K-12 curriculum should be decongested or simplified. Siguraduhin lang po natin na yung matututunan ng ating mga mag-aaral sa K-12 ay handa sila para maghanda sila sa mga trabaho na nag-aabang para sa kanila. Now the DepEd is finalizing the revised K-10 curriculum while a review has also started for the curriculum of the senior high school. Kenneth Pasciente for The Nation.